Good afternoon, this is Chef Jay Country Guy here. Tomorrow we're going to be cooking some deer meat. I'm going to show the process and how you cook it and prep it. And then I'm going to show me eating it and describe how good it is. Uh, this deer, this is from a uh, seven point I killed last year. And it was a pretty okay sized deer. Advantage of deer hunting is the meat that you get to harvest from the animal. This meat tastes really good. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to cook and eat this deer meat. You, the first step is to, of course, harvest the deer, and then you eat it. But if you freeze the meat, you have to thaw it out first. And this can be done by just setting it in a bowl on the counter, or somewhere like a table or something. Just room temperature. After you thaw out the deer meat, you have to rinse it off in running water. This is to make sure the deer meat is clean from the field to get off dirt and debris and blood off the meat and make sure that it's clean. While you're rinsing water on the deer meat, you should cut your deer meat to size of what you want to eat. Uh, so it's not too big while you're cooking so it doesn't take as long to cook. The knife that my grandpa is using is called a rough M knife and he makes them out in the shop and if you want to buy one, it's about 100 bucks. Go get your one. After you rinse the meat off, you pour milk on it and let it soak to tenderize the meat. This is be best done uh, overnight. After you soak the meat in milk, you drain the milk off in the sink, and then I always grab some nature seasoning and I sprinkle it on the deer meat after you sprinkle it on the deer meat, you put the deer meat in the flour, you flip it over where it's covered and cover it up. And then after you get all the pieces that you want in one batch, you put it in the hot oil and you fry it. This is what your first batch should look like in the flour. It should be evenly covered and should just look white, not red. The best way to test how hot the grease is is to find the smallest piece and put it into the grease. You have to be careful putting this in the grease because it'll splash up and get you. So you have to be careful. But this is just what you do. And there, you cook it until it's done. While the other deer meat is cooking, you can grab all this deer meat and put it in the flour. While the meat cooks, you should grab you some paper towels and put it on a plate so you can put your meat on there when you're done. This is what the meat should look like when it's done. It looks brown and you can see in the fryer. And it's, like it's easy to see. After you f finish getting all the meat out, you can put some more in the pan, pot, whatever you call it, until it's full again. When the deer meat is done, always grab a knife, I grab a piece of deer meat, and I cut it. Of course, I always have two hands, and it helps if you have two hands. After you cut it up in bite-sized chunks, I like to, I never put any sauce on it, and I just grab it with my hands, and I indulge in it like it's chocolate. It's such a delicacy. Overall, deer meat is some of the best meat around, and it's best to eat it the way I eat it. That's my opinion. <laughs>